This is the Trump Breaking News Network. Here's what's happening. Hillary Clinton nervous breakdown with no options left now but to run. If Trump's Attorney General, Jeff Sessions, decides to pursue charges against Hillary Clinton, it's not misogynism, vengeance or hate on Trump's part, it's because there is sufficient prima facie evidence, at very least, that Hillary is culpable, on many fronts. Anyone paying the least attention to facts knows this. Trump is successful, in part, because he chooses his people well and delegates to them, any successful person will confirm this as the way to do things properly. If you haven't seen Hillary's post-election speech the other day, the first since losing the election, you should. And when you do, think of this, Hillary's ego is virtually legendary, as is her vanity. Throughout the debates and the general election, who knows how much money was spent to make her up to look healthy and vibrant, her health being a subject of much credible debate. Yet she chose, or allowed herself, doesn't really matter which as they are the same, to appear on stage, before an audience and on camera, looking haggard, frail and weak and sounding so as well. Why would that be? Well, I have a theory, and since it's mine I respect it a lot. My theory goes like this. Hillary Clinton never expected to lose the election. She did expect that she had it all locked up because all the chips were in her favor, machines flipping Trump votes to her, machines shaving votes to her favor, dead citizens voting for her, by proxy of course, busloads of undocumented Americans, illegals, voting for her, multiple times each, the mainstream media colluding with her including feeding her advanced debate questions, Beyonce and Jays, who graciously accepted a $63 million dollar paycheck for showing up to support her and root for her on stage, the list goes on, talk about buying the presidency, the famous Clinton machine was hard at work for her. What Hillary did not expect is that the average, wholesome, hard-working, bill-paying American, a term it's doubtful she actually understands, would wake up, stand up and vote for a man who is a total DC outsider, a man who is of plain language, rather than contrived rhetoric written third party for a teleprompter, who actually has family values and kids who work hard and make their own successes in the world, who, out of passion and commitment, financed his own campaign, no Wall Street, Saudi, Qatari et al money there, and who showed Americans he was passionate about their well-being. It resonated, because any American actually listening heard the truth being spoken, as uncomfortable as that would have often been. That kind of plain talk created trust, and regardless of CNN slash ABC slash MSNBC and all the other in the bag for Hillary media efforts, all the tricks, hyperbole and disinformation still resulted in a landslide endorsement of Donald J. Trump, popular and electoral, to lead America back to her deserved prosperity. Obviously, after making such assumptions that she would prevail, Hillary was devastated in her defeat. Not just the loss itself, also the loss of future options she simply must have expected to be hers. For example, being able, as president, to seal, under signature as Obama did, her and Bill's past records. Pardoning or diverting, as president, investigations into her closest circle of friends who got her back into the White House, as president. Putting Bill out on the speaking stage for highly increased speaking fees and no doubt more. So, back on point, why would Hillary show up on stage and on camera looking so disheveled? Answer, pity, for two reasons. Agon all those idiots protesting who can't seem to fathom that Hillary lost the election on her own because of her past malfeasance and disingenuous persona. Those ignorant chums protesting Trump have no cognizance of what they are supporting or fighting. Just listen to a video or two of real interviews with them. They are totally disconnected from reality and even from the words and terms they use so confidently, they seem to be on a totally different planet. To set up the stage that if prosecuted it could be characterized as a vicious, anti-woman, anti-poor frail Hillary, nasty Republican witch hunt. Well the witch, could be spelled with a B as well, part is certainly true and there are legions of secret service and military personnel who'd corroborate that, if they could keep their jobs after having done so. But the Clintons still have an ass in the hole, skip out of the country with all those lovely excess dollars and the Clinton Foundation accounts, lots. Meanwhile, back on the political farm, all those starry-eyed followers who committed a drove of criminal acts to help Hillary achieve her deserved destiny of being the first female, sorry, can't think of her as a woman, president will face the repercussions, while Hillary drinks herself silly in Qatar, no extradition, and Bill entertains himself with Jeff Epstein on the Lolita Express and on Orgy Island till he keels over. Oh yeah, there's going to be a lot of Hillary splaining going on as the rats scurry for whatever legal hole they think they can hide in. With any luck, the reign of the progressives is over and rumors about George Soros exiting this world with a heart attack are true, which I doubt because someone like him is completely unlikely to have a heart to begin with, but one can still hope karma finally caught up with him. This has been, the Trump Breaking News Network. Please subscribe and share to stay up to date, on the latest news about our president. Be informed.